So a lot of people ask me to look into this thing called Nimsies or whatever it's called, which is a social media tool that was actually marketed or sponsored at least by PewDiePie lately and by a couple other people. And from all intents and purposes, looking too deep into this actually shows you a weird new look at a social network that A, hasn't been done before and B, is a little too weird to get into, almost cyberpunky. let's be real here. So what is Nimsies Mark? Now we're actually on their website because this is a social media that does not allow you to log in, I see, from the uh, from any web page. So it's all a uh, mobile-based operatings or a mobile-based social network, which there are a couple of. But let's go into this. What is Nimsies Mark? And they've got a video over here which is fine. You know, it's nothing too special. We'll read. Welcome to Nimsies. Every minute you live turns into one Nim. This is absolute capital. So at first it kind of sounds like it's some weird cryptocurrency. And you scroll downwards into this and you see sort of like a weird central nervous system. We distribute our Nims among us freely. That's why you and I have different amounts. The more Nims you have, the more impact you have. Those who manage to collect 683,784 Nims, one year plus 30%, can exchange them for a dominum. Dominum is a unit of impact that reserves value forever. And then you keep going down, we are neighbors, you and I, we're temple citizens. You, the entire earth is divided into temples, each of 2.4 kilometers squared. You and I are always inside a temple. So these are just blocks of land on the world. We have a home temple we belong to and we contribute to its bank daily. Everybody does that. I guess even people who aren't connected to Nim to begin with. And then you keep going down, all the nims from the temple bank go to its master. The master is one who has claimed a status by using the most dominims. The dominims remain the master's property, they never vanish, but rather are used to take the temple. Humanity has a finite number of nims. There are 538,560 temples on earth total. A dominim is the highest symbol of superiority. So immediately off the top of my head reading this, it almost feels like I'm coming across a weird pyramid scheme sort of thing. And I really don't know how to feel exactly about that. It, it does it does come across as hyper weird when we're entering this, but they've got multiple stuff. So they've got stuff, uh, they've got multiple pages like global data. And in the world of global data, you can actually see the amount of NIMS every user has earned. This constantly updates. There are 1,159 angels 6,226 6, active temples and 14,005 dominums as of right now while I'm recording this. They've got theories, mechanics, rules, and you can actually see total users that exist out there with how much NIMS they've been accumulating and the status they have, such as some that are masters and some that are angels. So right now, the current price for one dominum is 120 euros. So now we have a f uh, an actual conversion rate. So if you have one dominum, you basically have 120 euros, which I believe converts to, if I'm not mistaken, like what is it, 160, 170 US or something of the sort. A user who owns dominums and uses them to take a temple is called a master. And in the future, Nimsies intends to provide free exchange and trading of dominums in accordance with applicable laws and regulations. So they've effectively built what is a blockchain cryptocurrency social network, and apparently you can already use this to buy and exchange goods. They've already come up with some form of a monetary equivalent when it comes to you know currency we use nowadays, like legal tender. Um, but this is just their website nowadays. They've got other things like mnemonomy. I guess we'll look in that real quick. Yeah, so they've got a giant introduction over here where they talk about NIMSIs and, and how this system works together. They've got laws to follow, their individual things, NIMSIs court. It's a system designed to solve complex disputes through both algorithmic and human means. It's almost like we're looking into a different type of world. It's like they took the concept of cryptocurrency and almost turned it into its own like religion, society, whatever you want to call it. But I think there's one thing about this, you know, is their website definitely screams weird to me. But Nimsies is first and foremost a social platform, so I figure, you know, after we've kind of scratched the surface here, let's go download the app and sort of see what's inside here real quick. Ah, or somebody already took Muda? Come on now. All right, let's try. Oh, Mudahar is still there. God bless, dude. All right, so at least I can be called that. I am Mudahar. I am almost on Nimsies. All right, dude, let's hit complete. Create that account. Apparently I could have used an invite code or something, but I'm not gonna go that route. I'm gonna just make an account and see what we got in here. So immediately, first things first, is it does actually kind of give you a relative part of your address. So you can go into this 
So going into the application, one of the things you're doing over here is checking this sort of tier ranking. So right now I'm invisible, but there's also user status. Then you become a human after your user. Uh, I think it should be kind of the other way around, but whatever. And then you become an angel. And then finally, if, if, if God figures, or at least the NIM community considers you good, you become a master. So let's, I guess, go to user real quick. So a few words about yourself, nothing too private, just some general information. So I guess we'll give it a, a gender. We'll give it, yeah, I'll just give it my gender. Why not? Okay, let's just give it my uh, uh, age, you know? Um, I'm, not, I'm not 12 anymore, so I don't have to lie to the websites about who I am. And you gotta give it some form of a picture, so hold on. Solid photo that I have. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Start NIM emission. So what is this? Soon you generate one NIM every minute. Use NIMs to interact with others, take temples, build up, and like, what the fuck is this, dude? This, is, it, it, this feels so weird. Let's start the NIM emission. A minute is priceless, that's why NIM is precious. Upon pressing good, you get 500 NIMs because A and B. Okay, all right, sweet. So I've got 500 NIMs, and once I get one NIM build up to a dominum, then I can actually use this to kind of cash out uh, money, or so to speak. Now, can I, so how do I get this? One NIM is basically going to be 683,748, sorry, one dominum. So as soon as that NIM counts hits that, I'll get one dominum, which is equivalent to $120. I guess if I transfer that, I can send it to other users in the world, but that is what it is. Some users have like thousands of these. And then you can go and get temples if you, so temples you can get, in this, not in my area or something, you can get certain temples for like 20, 21, 27, 31 dominums. So something for zero, could I take that? Maybe. But at the same time, you're also looking at things like daily income. So if I go into like a 40, oh, there's no, none of those, okay. So these are profitable temples. If I have 31, by the way, the dominums, I can take this temple and get 56,662 uh, whatever the fuck they're called, the, uh, the NIMs, and I can make those every day, I guess, and I can convert them to money when it needs to. Now, it's gonna take me a little while to get the money built out of this, but as you can see, it's a pretty heavy investment to get. So, you can actually convert your NIMs into something a little more tangible if you don't wanna just dominate the world, and you can go to goods, where soon you'll be able to buy things like an Adidas AW B-Ball Alexander Wang uh, gray cream for about half a fucking million. <laughs> uh, you'll be able to buy them for like half a million NIMs. Uh, if you go to like music, you can actually get a music subscription right now for 15 thousand nims and each minute you're going to be getting nims so every day you're going to be getting a good amount of nims and you can use that to buy as much as you want so yeah this is uh this is definitely <laughs> something let's go to people for a bit so some of the stuff in the nim community uh, is uh are just kind of memes so if you're sharing things like the ghost that haunts my house me jacking off every night that you can earn a fair amount of nims that i guess you can convert to a real currency at some point and it really is the definition of the more popular you are the more you'll succeed. So I guess at the end of the day, what's to matter over here is, yeah, it, it doesn't seem like anything hyper weird to me. It definitely just seems like an interesting take on cryptocurrencies and social media. Now, is it kind of taking your files, tracking them? I'll admit the website itself is, is weird looking and the actual, the actual service itself is also something I kind of have to grasp my head around. But I guess it's basically the equivalent of building just your average Facebook profile, earning basically money every minute and then the more popular you are the more you'll be able to earn money at a faster rate and buy temples and earn money even then through there so it's kind of like literally the rich get richer type mentality when it comes to a social media network literally the more popular you are the more you overtake everybody else on the internet so i feel like you know uh, in any case something like this would probably be more ideal if you had sort of a social media following to begin with and then profit off of it like crazy now I don't know how something like this can really take off in the long term. It just definitely feels like it's starting off new, but I'd like to keep a look into it as time goes on. Honestly, I wanted to look into this just because it's been a weird concept to begin with. Anytime somebody sent me a website of this and I gave it that initial read, it was just a weird situation to get into, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. But as of now, let's kind of back out of this and uh, <laughs> see what becomes of it. So I think I'm going to leave my account on here and just, you know, Okay, hold on, hold on. Before I head out, let me just tell you the weirdest thing about this application. Look, 
I'm not here to say things are a weird scam or not. I don't have enough proof for it. But ladies and gentlemen, I feel like being a user, I'm gonna remain a user because immediately going on to the human status, it almost feels as though I'm giving away too much of my personal information for no real gain. I already gave them a weird meme photo of me. I already gave them my birth date. I already gave them my gender even. And now they wanna have access to my contacts. You know, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I think, uh, I think I'll stick to earning regular currency and pro probably stay away from Nimsies for a little while. Shit just seems a little too weird now that I go into it. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, for now, let me head out. This is Mimudahara, and I'm out.